Hello, my name is Mary Roddy. I'm a radiologist from Charing Cross Hospital in London and a member of the OSIRIX UK user group. And what I want to talk about today is how to get rid of uh, patient identifiers from ultrasound images that you have imported into your OSIRIX database for teaching purposes or possibly for publication. So I'm going to open OSIRIX, here's my database, and in the local default database you will see I have one ultrasound case. And you can see that I have anonymised it by getting rid of the patient name and replacing it with case 001. It's an ultrasound of the thyroid and it's a normal anatomy case. And if we look at the series of images here, we have one series of six images and a second much larger series uh, containing 199 images that will make a nice ultrasound movie. So if I open up this case, you can see that in fact it's not really anonymised at all because the patient name is clearly visible despite our anonymization process. And this is because uh, the name is actually part of the image. So this is clearly not suitable for teaching or for publication. So what I want to show you now is how we can get rid of those uh, patient identifiers. And the way we do it is to use the region of interest tool that you'll find in the menu up here on the toolbar. And the one we want is the rectangle uh, region of interest. And with that, we can draw a rectangle round the part of the image that we would like to keep. Now, you'll notice that when you put the region of interest onto the image, you get uh, a red not for medical usage logo at the bottom of the screen and also uh, an area on the bottom right telling you the area within the region of interest. Uh, now, these don't look very attractive, but don't worry, they're easy to get rid of and I'm about to show you how. So the first thing we do is we use the shutter tool and if we press that, you see that all the uh, patient information has disappeared. If you'd like to get rid of the not for medical usage logo, you go to the annotations uh, toolbar and select none and that should disappear. Now what we need to do now is to export this image uh, into a new DICOM file and the way we do that is to go to the menu bar, select file, go to export and then go to export to DICOM files. Now when you press that button what you get is this page and there are several areas where you have to make a selection. Now we could select the current image only but as we have six images in this series, it's much better, makes better sense to press all images of the series. We can call it anything we like. I think I'll keep it with the name that's appeared there as ultrasound. And this part is particularly important. You have three choices of image format. If you select the first one, which says with ROIs at the end, your new DICOM images will all have the not for medical usage logo on the bottom, which is not ideal. So it's better to choose one of the other two choices, and I've chosen as displayed in 16-bit black and white. Once you've done that, I can press OK, and you can see it's created a new DICOM series. To see that, we just need to go back to our main database uh, page, and what you can see is that we have the original six images with the patient name clearly visible and the new set of images, which I'll open up for you here, which have got no patient identifiers at all. So at this point, I usually delete the set of images with patient identifiers and we do that by right clicking and selecting delete selected series thumbnails. 
Now let's do the larger series. This is the series with 199 images. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to choose the rectangle tool, select the area of the image that we want to keep, press the shutter tool, press none to get rid of the red logo, and then export to a new DICOM series. Again, we have the same choices as before. I'm going to select all the images of the series, although the nice thing with this is that you may not want to keep the whole set of images, so you do have a facility here to change the start position of your video and also the end position of your video if you so want. Uh, I might call this ultrasound movie. And again, remember not to select this first choice with the region of interest I've chosen as displayed in 16-bit black and white. And now I'm going to press OK, and you can see that the new DICOM series is being created. So again, if I go back to the thumbnails, you can see there's my original series of 199 images with the patient name clearly visible. And here's my new series, <coughs> which you can see has fewer images because I cut a few of them off. So I can now delete the annotated uh, images. So now I'm left with a nicely anonymized case and nice ultrasound images with no patient identifiers that are perfect for teaching or for publication. Now the final thing that I want to show you is a nice thing that you can do with ultrasound if you want to import ultrasound movies into your PowerPoint presentations, which is often a nice way of showing anatomy or ultrasound pathology. And what you can do if you want to do that is to take your uh, series of images, again go to the File menu and export, but this time rather than choosing export to DICOM file, choose export to movie. And you'll get the same choice that you had before, where you could at this point, if you needed to, shorten or lengthen the uh, video, and I might make it a little bit shorter than it was before, and then just press OK. At this point, you'll be able to give it a name, so we might have ultrasound movie. I've chosen to save it to the desktop and it's going to be a quick time movie. So I press save and the movie is exported onto the desktop with no patient identifiers visible, which makes it perfect to import into uh, a PowerPoint presentation. When it's finished making the movie, you'll see that uh, right in front of you, uh, in front of your Osirix. So I'll close that now, and I'm going to close my Osirix, and there is my movie sitting on the desktop. So I've got a PowerPoint here, ready to have a movie inserted, and so we just select the movie, and there it is embedded into the PowerPoint presentation. So what I've done is show you how to get rid of uh, patient information from ultrasound images. This technique would work just as well for nuclear medicine uh, images or any other medical images that have patient identification uh, burned onto the image. I've also shown you how you can export an ultrasound uh, series as a movie format and import it into a PowerPoint presentation. I hope you found this was helpful. Thank you.